Just another day in Holland. Nice windmill. Look at this. Just biking along here. Oh my god. So I just biked from Lowendam, where my house is, to Edam. Edam? Not really sure how you say it, but this town is amazing. Um, <laughs> honestly, these buildings are insane. Cheese on cheese on cheese. Check out this cheese. This is amazing. I kind of want to print on this. So many cheeses. Cheese on cheese on cheese on cheese. This town is literally a five minute bike ride from my house. I'm spending a lot of time here. So being in California, there's no, there's no history. I mean, the oldest buildings are built in the early 1900s, even on the east coast of the US it's it's there's maybe some buildings built in the 1800s but check out this building just casually right here from 1726 the history in Europe never ceases to amaze me especially how these structures are still erected after all of this time I think it's a testament to how much care Europeans you know, take for their culture, for their buildings, for their surroundings. Uh, it's just, it's a whole different meaning of history when you're in Europe. I am loving this town. Edam is awesome. I feel like it's Volendam without the people. It's a little bit less touristy. Um, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's peaceful. You can just feel the serenity in the air. I don't know how to explain it, but... I mean, look at how beautiful this restaurant is. It's amazing. Look how cool this car is. Oh, it's for sale. Nice. Just look how beautiful this composition is. I just can't get over the beauty here. So I think Edam is going to be sort of like my getaway. Uh, it is so incredibly peaceful here. Uh, it's just, everyone is super calm. Although I've seen some tourists, not nearly as many as I saw in Volendam. So I think, um, so honestly, there's so many little cafes that I've passed that I could just see myself coming here and working and reading and just kind of, be by myself and chill, uh, but huge fan of Edan. Oh my god, I'm approaching a giant field and I see cows, so stay tuned. On my way to the cows, I got a little sidetracked by this giant old church. So first church this this Euro trip, uh, the seal has been broken, and check out these window panes. Okay, so. The whole European history thing, this is insane. This is saying that these bells are from 1620, and they're casually just sitting on this bench right here. Like, it's so incredible. I found more, and they keep getting bigger and older. They're literally from the 1600s. So, cows, let's talk about cows. They're amazing. And these are just sunbathing. Look how many cows, they're everywhere. Ooh. 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 Look at that one saying hi. Probably one of the weirdest graves I've ever seen. I wonder if Nico Groez was uh, 
hot fit model, like this bust is insinuating. Or maybe a, he was a creepy little frog. Can't really tell. It's probably a legend though. Welcome to my house. It was built in 1702. Jeez. So I am done exploring Edam for today. I'm gonna hop on my bike and head to the grocery store. Um, I'm cooking a meal for my host family because their dog died this morning. And it's just been a super sad day for them and me. Um, I was up last night with my host mom hanging out, drinking wine, um, hanging out with, with the dogs, and I wake up this morning with the news that uh, one of the dogs just died from a tumor. Um, they couldn't save it. So I figure, cook a meal, I'm not a good cook, but I'll scrounge up something. They, they love sushi and uh, mac and cheese, so I think I might try to do a little combo. But So I just shopped at the grocery store. You'd think it'd be easier because everyone speaks English, but none of the labels are in English, so I had to get someone to help me um, figure out what the vegan things were because my family's vegan. And, uh, but I think I have enough stuff to cook in the meal, and hopefully it's good. Um, we'll see. First time cooking a vegan meal. We've got tofu. Got falafel and oh, some mac and cheese and salad. See how it goes. 